How long, dog? How long is my nigga Vegeta gonna get fucking shitted on? How long? Don't mind my ashy ass elbow. I don't give a fuck. I'm about to work out soon. And yes, I'm gonna be filming in my Zaku workout today. My body is hurting like a motherfucker from like two days ago. I, I done killed that shit. But. Come the fuck on. By the way, my Zaku t shirts about to start selling them shit since September. Fuck that shit. I finally found a website that allows me to make them through a third party. First, gotta do that to make sure business goes well. And then I can purchase a printing machine with my own money. No, then I'll do it from there. Uh, excuse me. I'm telling you right now, Jamatsu. First off, I was. I'm not gonna say I was wrong on my theory because I still think they're the same person. There's ones in the past and ones in the future. Or it's that bullshit theory that we found out um, last week where Akai's life force is the same as fucking the God of Destruction's life force. Like if one die, they both die on some bitch ass shit. Which would be weird because we have two different Kai's on uh, Universe 7, but we don't have two different uh, Gods of Destruction. So that, that makes no fucking sense. <laughs> it's just, you know... Just add some more plot holes, some more retcons to this bullshit, or whatever, man. Um, so basically, um, it starts off, and they actually go, um, well, first off, we got these troops all on Trunks' dick and everything, saying thank you and everything. So whatever, it's like, alright, cool, whatever. Only reason why I like that scene, because Trunks is just my favorite character, so it's like, it's nice to see my nigga get them props. Because he has been out there on the front lines, risking his damn life, man. Dude, my hair is so fucking nice, man. This is some healthy shit. But, you know, they go into this little cave because the they, he finds out that Mai had told them about the plan to fuck Black Goku up by going to the past and such. And they go to this little cave. Uh, Trunks sees Mai. Trunks runs up like he about to hug the shit out of the bitch just to stop and grab her hand and cry like a bitch-ass nigga. But, you know what I mean? You know, to each his own, you know what I mean? But I'm fucking with y'all, though. I probably would have cried, too. He thought his girl died finding out she alive, man. So, you know, props to my man Trunks. How come every time I record a video, nigga, drop by with a motorcycle? Drop by, hurry up, dog. Thank you. Basically, you know, um, after, you know, they get a little chit-chat and everything, we see one thing from Vegeta. Vegeta, you know, he's smiling at Trunks, you know, because Trunks is really, like, the only saying in love. He has to keep, you know, the life force or the rest of life in that universe, and he sees that his son is treating, you know, his lady right and he's treating his people right he's become you know the hero of that universe and we can see uh that vegeta is very proud of his son for that and that's one thing that i really do like about this episode because you also see some character development from vegeta because at one point in time this nigga was destroying planets just to do them <laughs> that because Fre frieza kept telling him to because Vegeta was already evil period but you know frieza he just didn't help the fucking cause he just an uh, evil dude controlled another evil dude. But seeing Vegeta, you know, mature as a character and him actually happy to see his son accomplish things, man. Man, that, that shit just brings a smile to my face to see in the episode, you know. And, you know, at this point in time, Vegeta, his character development has been amazing. And I believe this has also helped elevate his character as well because it shows compass compassion, you know, heart, will, love. Vegeta has feelings. And I like how he really, like, mentions, like, Bummer's my wife after all. You know, that thing that we give him, like, the whole little play the fool that Bummer left for him. Look, Vegeta's a good dude, because we know, regardless of him saying, but because Bummer told me to, he didn't have to do it if he, if he didn't want to. Obviously, it was important to him as well if he even remembered to do it, because Vegeta doesn't give a fuck about a lot of things. But he clearly gives a fuck about these people who he's never met before. And... No, I really appreciate seeing, uh, you know, that character change of Vegeta, you know, over these, over these years or a decade plus, you know, I'm 18, I'll be 19 next month, man, damn, it was crazy, boy getting up there, man, I was, I was a young boy, no, I was a young boy, but, um, man, I'm proud of Vegeta, um, we also get to see, um, the, uh, I guess the alternate universe, uh, Yajirobe, and I'm confused of why he's hiding. I understand that's part of his character, but anybody who ever watched Dragon Ball, this dude killed one of King Piccolo's men and ate his ass. Like, Yajirobe, and this is non prime Yajirobe that I'm talking about right now. Yajirobe is a freaking beast, man. 
he is one hell of a beast. He did a, by the way, did a great part fighting Vegeta in the Saiyan Saga. People who don't watch Dragon Ball don't really know that much about Yajirobe, but y'all need to watch that. This dude is no average human. He'll beat the living shit out of Hercule. And Hercule, he's like, he's really strong for, you know, for the human-wise, he's really strong. He won the World Martial Arts Tournament. So, it's not that Hercule is even weak, it's just that compared to the Z Fighters and shit, like, yeah, he's not touching them guys. But Yajirobe, Yajirobe is definitely forced to be reckoned with, at least on the human side. But Yamcha can still beat him because Yamcha got the powers and shit. Yajirobe can't even fly yet. But we had, like, this little comedy scene, so Yajirobe, how he's always hiding and shit, blah, blah, blah. Then they all go outside and, you know, Vegeta basically tell Trunks, yo, fuck is that? Basically tell Trunks, yo, I mean, you got to stay locked because you got this bitch to fuck. If you fuck up, you got to come to pass again. Then you got to keep doing the same shit. But they all go on, you know, to um, a random battlefield to uh, specifically pick to fight Black Goku. And Vegeta fires an energy wave in the air. You get to see Black Goku just standing there and shit and just flying. So he goes on to me. By the way, Black Goku gets there fast and I am 100% convinced this dickhead learned the instant transmission. There's no fucking way he moved that fast. <laughs> and Vegeta and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, or Super Saiyan Blue. This is where I get a little skeptical at and pissed off at because this whole black Goku, that better be Goku's actual freaking body. It better be his body. If it's some kind of, I don't, it's not, I, I don't want to hear no injected DNA. No, I don't know. Because in order to have a Super Saiyan God or Rose or Blue, you at least have to awaken Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, Vegeta got passed on that, and then Super Saiyan God, and then Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, that's, that's four fucking prior forms to this shit. So the fact that he just turned Super Saiyan Rose just because he fought Goku, when Goku didn't even fight him in Super Saiyan Rose in the first place, Black shouldn't have, have any knowledge of this. He shouldn't have any knowledge of this. If he went Super Saiyan 2, alright, whatever. But no, you, you straight up skip 3, God, and you then you just went straight to, to the rose, to the color shits. It's like, dude, you haven't even, I don't I don't get it. You haven't experienced any Super Saiyan rose, God. I'm, I'm not sure what um, Akira is doing at this point, man. Um, This shit better be explained, the why he has this. And the fact that Vegeta was in Super Saiyan Blue and Black was in normal form, tanking his hits. No. No. I I can't sit there and accept that and pretend it's good. All because the episode had a nice cliffhanger. I can't sit there and pretend that that scene was good. That scene was complete ass and it was complete bullshit. Very complete bullshit. Vegeta gets his ass kicked and he almost dies. And it's like, yo. I understand if he has to lose, but don't have him get squashed. Now, Goku goes Super Saiyan Blue. Okay. And I'm starting to think that whatever you hit Black Goku with, he becomes stronger because he isn't, like, a human being. He has to be a machine or something. But that make no sense for him to have Super Saiyan, any kind of Super Saiyan form. I don't give a fuck with injecting DNA. No, fuck that. Because, oh, damn, my elbow ashy as shit. Damn, my bad. Y'all gonna roast me. But, like... At the end, you know, Vegeta says, you know, th that's not it to Trunks. I'm like, okay, obviously Black Goku is absorbing shit, which is why he becomes infinitely stronger. Because after he whooped Vegeta's ass, he said, thank you, you made me stronger. And it's like, wait, wait, what? What is he, gum or something? He just absorb everything? But Goku goes ahead and confronts him. My shit ashy, my, no, I ain't looking at that. Goku goes on and confronts him. Goku, you know, it's not having much success. Gets a couple hits there, but it's obvious that Black is studying Goku hit him. And then we get the scene where Zamasu comes from the clouds saying, Yo, I told you we meet again, motherfucker. Now I'm going to kill you. So, I mean, it was already evident that Black and uh, Zamasu was linked. But it this better not be on no cosmic Superman type shit where Black Goku's a robe. No, 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 no. No. Um, um, it's a nice cliffhanger. So next episode, you know, hopefully we get to find out more. We probably won't. Probably get more cliffhangers. Probably won't really find out till like maybe two, three weeks from now exactly what's going on. But right now, I'm just confused. And it might be that situation where they said the Kai and the God of Destruction Life Force are linked to where in this universe, 
Goku is the god of destruction because he's not far off from the you know, power ranking from him. So maybe Goku was chosen as the god of destruction and Zamasu is the actual Kai and it's some kind of medieval mm -hmm. land or world or something. Fucking fly my get my damn nerves. So, you know, I'm looking forward to see what's happening. Um this episode I gave um a seven out of ten. It wasn't that good, it wasn't that bad, but more cliffhangers. I'm mad what they did to my nigga Vegeta. It's fucking stupid shit. That I mean I I understand you have to get people over it, like get the black over, make them seem more of a threat. But seeing shit like that is like a no. And me, me personally, if I was Goku, I would have said, "Fuck it, Kaiwa Ken Thompson killed him instantly." Especially when, because in the, in the episode preview, we seen shit where it says our oh, text don't work on Zamatsu. Maybe Zamatsu is just like a a fucking hologram, and he is Black Goku. I'm not sure what's going on here, but I'm interested. What's going to happen next? Let me know how you guys feel in the comment section, man. I mean, this shit is fucking weird, man. I don't get it. I gotta, you know, release some vlogs, too. You guys say you want some vlogs. Me and my friends, we can probably do some story time shits. They'll tell y'all about the portrait situations that happen and shit like that. Shit about females and exes. See, I, I don't mind telling y'all about, you know, my personal shit about exes. My man, Muhammad, already knows and shit, you know what I mean? But it's like, I don't mind telling y'all because the last thing I'm gonna do is get on this camera and cry while I'm telling y'all. Because any anime reviewer that gets on you no know, screen talking to his friends crying in it about a, a female is a straight up bitch. You got you to gotta talk for him. It's okay you cry in private. I don't give a fuck. That's your private life. Do what you got to do when you're private time. And I understand tears will help you feel better. I understand that. But you crying? In the, nah. Nah. <laughs> I ain't crying pit, not myself on the internet. Nah. I got a dick between my legs at the end of the day. You feel me? But, you know, um, let me you know know how you guys feel about this episode. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, cut the sideburns off. You know, my shit looking nice and shit. I mean, I mean, let my hair... I mean, I'm doing me. Uh, I do have this One Piece uh, Long Wing Long Rant kind of video that I recorded uh, a little while back, actually. Um, I'll probably upload it after this video. So, make sure you guys stay in tune. I will give you guys the Flash Season 2 review very soon. I know I'm late. I know I'm late. In Season 3, I would review the Flash series as it goes on. Because Flash is the motherfucking shit. It's the shit. Mazaku. Like, comment, subscribe. My ass your elbow. Y'all can't see you no more. Peace. I'm out. Mazaku workout coming soon.